वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ध्रुवी प्रोग्रामिंग एकेडमी टुडे वी आर राइटिंग अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू कैलकुलेट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट सो पी आर एंड टी रिप्रेजेंट प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड टाइम नाउ आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल ऑफ दीज आफ्टर द हैश साइन The hash sign is used to represent comments in Python. So these three statements will not be executed when we execute this Python program. The formula for simple interest goes like this: principal amount into rate of interest into time. Time in both the cases is in years divided by hundred. And for compound interest, it is principal value into one plus r divided by hundred raised to the power t. So uh, let's start. Uh, for calculating both of them, we need three things as input: that is, principal value, rate of interest, and time. Uh, we will take the inputs in uh, the form uh, as float data type. The reason being, amount can be in decimal value, rate of interest can also be in the decimal value, and time. Uh, can also be a decimal value, though it is in years. Say the user wants to uh, keep the amount for 1.5 years, so it's better to take all the inputs as float. So we write p is equal to float. Then we write input. Enter the principal amount. For those of you who don't know how to take user input, we are writing float uh, before everything. That is the data type we want the variable in. After that, we have written input, uh, which is used to take user input, and then uh, after that, we have taken two round brackets, and inside it, we have written enter the principal amount. Um, this. This is a message that we are giving to the user. Uh, since it is in double quotes, you could write anything, anything inside it, and that message will be printed when we execute the program. Next, we are writing r is equal to float open and uh, close round brackets input again open and close round brackets. Enter the rate of interest. And then T is equal to float input. Enter the number of years. Now we are calculating the simple interest first. So let us write SI. I want to declare the variable SI for simple interest. You could declare anything again. Uh, is equal to. This remains the same because P into R into T must be divided as a whole by hundred. So yes, we have written the. Uh, Formula for simple interest. Now we print the value of simple interest. So the simple interest is comma SI. Now why we have written SI is because oh sorry comma S because we want the value of this variable to be printed here. So whatever is the message that we had to write, we wrote it in double quotes and then with a comma we wrote the variable also name to get the value of this variable. Now I want the rupee symbol also to be printed along with this. Uh, because this will only print the amount or the value that we'll calculate, but how to get the rupee symbol? So I'll write 
inside first after si i'll put a comma and then uh, inside double quotes i'll write slash u 20b9 now you must be wondering what is this so this is the unicode for the rupee symbol and in python whenever you want to print symbols you can directly print them you need to mention the unicode for that in your program and python will interpret it and display uh, your symbol uh, in the up now let us find the compound interest is equal to p okay i think we should word bracket otherwise there will be too many p into now first of all let us write it normally 1 plus r divided by 100 we need to write this 1 plus r divided by 100 raised to the power t it is raised to the power of only this and not this so what we are supposed to write is we are used supposed to use the power function which stands for p o w we are supposed to enclose everything in a bracket from here so p o w a bracket and then this is what t is raised to and then comma a t and we close so how does the power function work i need to tell you that so it's basically like this p o w of the thing that uh, is at the base so for example 4 and then the value to which it is raised so it is 2 for example this will be 4 raised to 2 or 4 square so the answer of this will be 16 um now we print compound interest so print the compound interest is comma ci comma again we need the rupee symbol so slash u 20 b 9 okay now let us save it so we go to file save as we do an all files here i am going into my folder new volume d through programming academy uh say i want to save it as interest remember to put the extension dot py which is very very important for it to understand that this is a python file then we go to my folder where we had saved it interest now i am writing c n d uh python and paste the name of the file which is interest dot py wait i did not put spaces after this if you put spaces after this uh it will when the, when you put the number So, so there will be a space in between the number and the text so this looks visually very good so we we'll save it first and then we click on this do you to understand better into the principal amount so this is the space that i'm talk that i was talking about say we enter 4500 enter the rate of interest say 5% uh enter the number of years say 8 years so my simple interest is 1800.0 rupees and my compound interest is 6648.509 rupees so that is how we calculate simple interest and compound interest i hope you have understood that and if you like the video do like it share it and subscribe to my channel thank you